today's video is going to be very simple. Here I'm going to show you how to make the animated motion line like this. Now for some of you it may look very complex but actually it's very simple. Okay, so just stay with me and let's begin. Alright, we are on the head film express. First of all, I'm going to make one composition first. Okay, so let's name it as a line. And here I will set the duration only 3 seconds. Okay, so it's going to be very short. And in this composition, I'm going to make one plane layer. Say name it as a line. Okay, so go to the transform property and use this break the scale here so that we can manipulate only in one particular axis. So this is my x axis. So here I will set only the point 3. So that line becomes very thin. So as you can see, it's very thin line. And uh, let's make short a little bit. So this is my line and I'm going to animate this line here. So before going to make any kind of animation, I will first uh, play with the anchor fellow so that the main point comes at the first point of this line. So you just play with this X fellow. Okay. You can make it zoom. Okay, fine. So as you can see, this is my line and here I'm going to apply the animation. So first of all, here I'll play with the position property. So at the beginning frame, you just activate one keyframe here and a few frames later, just change the value of the X so that we can have like this. Okay. So you select both the keyframes, activate manual base here and you can play with the value graph so that my animation becomes smooth. So the next step is I'm going to play with the scale value here. So at the middle position, my scale value will remain as it is for the X parameter. So you activate one keyframe and at the beginning, I will make the scale value to zero. And also at the ending position, you just copy the same zero value to the end. You again select all the keyframes and activate manual base here. Now if you play this, it becomes like this. It's like a sleek, minimalistic animation. So here your job is done. Now the next step is how to create the multiple lines and all those should have the animation. Okay, so for that purpose, you no need to create one by one again. You just make the duplicate of the same line. Okay, so before we make the duplicate, uh, here I'm going to make one new composite shot. Say, let's name it as multiple lines. My duration will remain as it is, 3 seconds. And in this new composite shot, I'm going to drag my previous composite shot, that is the line. So this is my previous composite shot. You can see here. Now you just make a duplicate of the same line composite shot, multiple times. Okay, so now here you just change the position of those lines. So that we can have multiple variation. You can make further duplication. So it's done. Now if you play this, you can see all the lines are being animated at the same time. Now to have the multiple variation of the time, you can uh, change the duration of each of the line here. Now you can see they are different from each other. So this is only one type. Now as I have shown you previously, if I want to make the a little bit inclination of those lines, you can also do this. So for that purpose, you can make one new composite shot. Let's say angular line. Okay. And let's keep the duration as it is 3 seconds. And in this angular line, you simply drag the previous composite shot. So this is my previous composite shot. And here if you play with the rotation value. you can have like this. You can make further duplicate and you change the position. It's a kind of like a motion background. 
or animated motion background and here you can uh, add any lens flare to make it more epic for that purpose let's make one grade layer and let's rename it as a light flare and in this grade layer i'm going to apply the light flare effect okay under the properties you can change the type of the light you can apply some motion in this light so let's drag here first and uh, under the hotspot position i'm going to play with the x value so let's activate one keyframe and at the end of the video you can move it like this and you can have this nice looking animated motion background with animated lines so as you can see it is very simple you can do this let me know in the comments how you can use this animation smash like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye